Okay. It is true. Okay, this was this was a terrible debacle. So Vlodar Mirzin, I know, because he's a young player, and every year at the World Youth and World Cadet, where I was a U.S. coach, I did that five times, he was kicking ass. He was doing really well, under 10, under 12, under 14. He was coming in the top five. So I know who he is from those tournaments. And now he's 25-20 FIDE, and he's playing a higher-rated player. Uh, Ayer Dechescu is a very good Romanian player, obviously. And the first game was a draw. And this is the second game, and Mirzin's completely winning. He's plus 1,000. He's got a pass pawn on the seventh rank, and it's an extra pass pawn. It's up a pawn, and it's the pawn on d2. And the engine says black is plus five. So if Mirzin wins, the match is over. He gains a lot of rating points. He wins with black against a higher rated player, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And instead of doing all of that, he blundered. It's move 42. So I don't think he's in time trouble, but to be honest, I don't know the time control. If it's like 40 and 90 game and 30, then he's not in time trouble. So yeah, if it's game and 90, then, you know, okay. Yeah. Right. Now, now, now rook d8 is a blunder. That's true. But knight b8 and knight d8 both win. Then just blacks up a pawn in the seventh rank. It's an easy win. He, he made a blunder <clears throat> that a lot of you would, you know, probably make. Probably me too. He played king a7. Double question mark. And he went from classy to ashy. Do you guys see why that's a blunder? Now black is no longer winning. He went from plus five to equal in one move. Truth hurts. And when your opponent plays this move, you feel so bad. Like, I know the feeling. <laughs> See, if you guys feel bad and you're rated like a thousand, that happens to you like four times a game. When you're IM, GM, World Cup, world famous player, it doesn't happen a lot that you make a move, hit the clock, and your opponent plays a haymaker, and you're like, oh my God, why do I play chess? But when it does happen, then I show you. Truth hurts. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no there's no excuse for blundering here. If he gets three minute, 30 minutes after move 40, that's move 42. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, Rick takes D2. Now, this reminds me of a game that I played in 1999 in August in Reno. And... Um, I'm not supposed to say anything because we have a, it's sealed. Uh, I don't plan on going back to Nevada soon, so I probably can't get extradited. But when I made this kind of move in Reno, I just did it to watch the man die. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's what happens. Now, I wasn't thinking of that when I, when I, when I did this, but let's, let's have a look. Okay. So I was black and this was against, um, the Uruguayan, if that's the right term, he's from Uruguay, uh, Grandmaster Rodriguez. He was the highest rated player in Uruguay. He might still be. He's like 25. He was 2,500 FIDE when I played him, but I think he got to 2,560. I think it's Andres Rodriguez. He has some other names because he's South American, like A-N-D-R-E-S Rodriguez. So this is a game that I played in 1999, um, if I can remember it, 50-50. I'm either going to remember it or I won't. That's 50-50. Do you play bishop g5 or bishop c4? Bishop c4. Okay. And, you know, I could be transposing, but, you know, it's okay. Somebody has to transpose. Um, okay, here, 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 here. Did I play b? Yeah, b5, f4. Uh... Let's see. Uh, no way. Maybe after. Let's see. Did I play b5 here? Or did I play bishop d7? Hmm. Let's see, b5.
Mm, I played b4, knight a4. But he didn't hang a piece. So maybe I maybe I played this. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it was like this. And then I I I'm definitely transposing somehow. Yeah, sorry, I'm transposing. I apologize. Okay, so when I, I probably transpose, I'm sorry. This is right though, I just, sorry about that. So in this position, when I let him play e5, e6, e7, I thought, well, I'll just take that pawn on e7 eventually. Then when he played e7, I was like, I'm not gonna take that pawn on e7, I'm just lost. You know, I'm no good, let me alone. Okay, so when I decided I was lost, I decided it was time to go crazy like Fox News. So I played B3. If I'm lost, I might as well make it complicated. You know? um, and he took which is the best, and I checked. And this is, there's two times in my life where I made a grandmaster opponent cry at the board, and this was... The second time. First time was in April of 1990 in Reykjavik against Ferdinand Hellers. Yeah, he quit chess and became a lawyer after that tournament, I think. It's not a joke either. Um, yeah, so White's winning here. The engine says White's up 3.7 for just move his king somewhere. And then this pawn is pretty good. You know, I was trying to open his king and maybe take this pawn. But he played queen e4 very confidently. And then when I replied, he put his head down and shook his head and he, he wasn't happy. He was really unhappy. God damn, he was unhappy. Yeah, and this, this is, I'm reminded of this because of the game that I'm showing you. That's why I'm showing you this. Yeah. Um, right. Anybody? Right, yeah, Rick, I played this and he resigned after like crying for a long time. Yeah, Queen 4 is just a blunder. But it's funny how it's the same blunder. Like my, my queen's pinning his queen and I take a pawn on the seventh rank and he didn't see it. Now, in this instance, he has to resign now. He's dead. I'm plus a thousand. But um, in the other game, he went from completely winning to like equal. So he still tried to win, but trying is the first step to failure. Yeah. Um, let's see, 42, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Rook check and Black played. I'm sorry it's reversed now, but it is from Black's point of view. So King a7, Rook takes d2, and now the position's a draw. But Black tried to win, because yeah, he was winning before. And it's, it's a draw, it was always a draw. Nobody was ever gonna win this game. Just all, all zeros the rest of the game. And they agreed to a draw. Okay. Um, I mean, he tried to win, but now they have a playoff tomorrow. But if he had played knight d8 or knight b8, he would have won because he had that pawn in the seventh rank. But he blundered it. And my opponent blundered his pawn in the seventh rank and had to resign because he was losing for other reasons. You have a pawn on the seventh rank, you try not to let the guy capture it for free. And he wasn't in time trouble. So that's, you know, truth hurts. Yeah. 150 cent to dues. Hooray. I don't know what you said, but thanks. Yeah. Looks like Latin. That's Latin, darling. Evidently, Wasilal is an educated man. No, I really hate him. All right, I won. You won? <laughs> yes. Here, I'll tell you something funny. Okay, 
the, the guy you played is unrated. The guy that John played this round. You're so blurry. Well, that's because I'm. Yeah, I'm I wasn't blurry before. Oh, okay, yeah. right. Okay, so listen though. Forget about how I'm blurry. It doesn't matter. Maybe I'm like Dr. Katz. Okay, so the, the okay, so the guy you played is unrated. Mm -hmm. The guy John played is you know something. Now, last last week, mm -hmm. the guy that you played today and the guy that John played today, they played. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and the guy that you played beat the guy John played. Now, the guy John played, mm -hmm. okay, he's a kid, just now. Mm -hmm. He said he's 2,000 on Lee Chess, okay, yeah. and he's, six, he's, and he's, he's 699 on USCF, okay? okay? They're all at it. I know, so, but, he, but he lost. Then, then the reverse happened. You beat the guy who won last week, and John lost pretty quickly to the kid. And I looked at the game, and the guy's reasonable. Mm -hmm. Like, both of those guys are reasonable. Yeah, the guy, my game was... I thought you were better when I looked, but not winning, just better. Right. So our game was very close. Yeah. And then... Did your game just end, like, in the last 15 minutes? Five minutes ago. And I was... You played say, a game that's longer than possible to even play. Well, I started late because... I yeah, but still. <laughs> so I would say the main reasons I won um, were... The main reason is because he mismanaged his time. Also, his rook was sort of trapped in the middle of the board and couldn't do crap. And then I got up a call. Such language on chess TV. <laughs> now, when the game ended, mm -hmm. what was the time situation? I had probably six minutes and something, and he had one minute and something. Oh, okay, and so I that's good. I was up good. a pawn, and he was in big trouble. I want to show you something. It reminded me of something else. Then he hung his rook because he was making dumb moves. Yeah. Like they said he was hung. And they was right. <laughs> okay, now look, look, look at what happened here. Right. See this position? Mm -hmm. Black is in check, mm -hmm. okay? And he has a passed pawn in the seventh rank, mm -hmm. so Black's winning. See what it says how Black's winning? Barely. Black, but Black has a pawn in the seventh yeah. rank. So he's extra. So he blundered it. This is like my game. Right. So he should play knight to d8 or knight to b8, and he wins. He played here, not in time trouble, and the guy did that. You can't take the rook the queen's pin. So he just lost, he just lost his pawn in the seventh rank, and now it's a draw. Wait a minute. Okay. I need to look. You can't take because pinned. Oh, yeah. That's because he played here. So he just, he, I mean, all right. So when I saw that, that reminded me of a game I played in 1999, obviously, which I just showed them, mm -hmm. although I probably transposed. So we have this position. If you see the engine, it says he's really winning. Plus three, plus four, okay? And he did the same mistake. This is 1999 in Reno, right? Mm -hmm. He played queen e4, the exact same mistake. What did I do? Um, that's how that hang on. <coughs> Ooh, Perry. I got you a couple of things you'd like because I figured you might be hungry later. Karen's killing it in the extra rated so games. So you took the pawn with your rope. Yeah, then the resigns. I'm plus 10 million. Yeah. Yeah. Man, was he upset. I mean, oh. he, I mean, when you hang your pawn on the seventh rank, which they both did, he drew the other guy. He, he would have won if he had won the match against a high-rated player. But he was winning, and he lost in one move, my opponent. He was really upset. Okay, let me show you what I got you. So you got, you got the tofu, Todd. Yeah. And then... I'm not even hungry. Well, I wouldn't say you're hungry. And then basil rolls. <laughs> it's nice of you to get food, though. Yeah. No, I got stuff that you would like, and I would like if you don't want yeah. it. But you want to save it for later, any of it? Yeah, I can eat. Which, which I, one? I don't want the tofu, Todd. Yoink. So, I can do Anyway, hey everybody. It's Karen. I haven't been on the stream in any, a while. Any kind of crazy results? I haven't even had a chance to look. I just finished my game. Are you the only person here? There, I think there might be some folks here. I need to go. Probably. All right. Close it down. Yeah, come back and hang out. Okay. Yeah, Karen's been sick forever like me, but sicker. Today she's better than me. And, and then she played a rated game and she won. And she wasn't going to play... But this guy's opponent didn't show up, and she called the house, and they were like, oh, yeah, I forgot. So then Karen jumped in there, and she had black, too. Always bet on black. Yeah, that's why we call her Karen Black. All right. 150. Yeah, let's see. What else happened? Blur is good. What about Oasis? No. Um. Eh? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, Rodriguez versus, yeah, I, I probably, uh, knight c5, king b1, take, take. Oh, wait, maybe that was the right move order. Oh, no, no, he, play, he didn't play g5. That's the move that I had out of order was g5. He played king b1 first, then he played g5. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry I got the move order wrong. Yeah. No, no, Karen, Karen likes tofu tad and basil rolls. That's what she likes. When, when I get Thai food, she's like, get me tofu tad, get me basil rolls. They're saying, I knew you didn't like tofu tad so I could eat it. Not true, right? No, that's not true. No, no, she likes... She likes, she likes I eat a lot of tofu tad. Yeah, she's sick of yeah, it. Yeah. Sick of tofu tad. Right. But you're not sick of basil rolls. Mm, well, I'm kind of sick. <laughs> I can eat those, so... Yeah. Ooh, tofu tad. I don't know. I don't know. Don't forget to come on the stream and hang out. All right. Thanks, Casey, Zap. You're the best. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm a, on the stream and all. 